What you see on the screen right now is Minecraft with mods and I'm using Forge 1.21.3. I actually went ahead and created this custom village with a mod. Okay, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to download and install Forge 1.21.3 for Minecraft. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first step to download and install Forge is to click the second link in the description, which is our written guide on how to download and install Forge. Now, you don't have to read through this. This is only for those of you that want to read through the guide and look at the screenshots and stuff. But if you just want to follow along the video, click on step one and then click download Forge here. That is going to redirect you to the Forge page where you're going to select 1.21.3 right here on the minecraft version once you select 1.21.3 hit the installer button and then that's going to redirect you over here where you have to wait five seconds and only after five seconds okay you're going to click skip here on the top right do not click anything else just wait five seconds click skip and the download for forge will begin let's go ahead and wait for that file to download and of course while forge downloads if you want to play forge with friends or make forge a server you can do so using the first link in the description apex hosting will actually let you host a server using forge fabric or any other mod loader for minecraft java as well as for minecraft bedrock they will also offer services for that now you can create a server that your friends could join at any moment but also you could add mod packs to this server so let's say that you're trying to use forge to add like 20 mods well you could do that with just a mod pack you don't need to do it manually yourself you could have the apex hosting team do it for you using that first link in the description something i personally love about apex hosting besides them having secure servers all over the world so you don't have to worry about lagging and stuff is that you could actually create the server through your phone so that means that you could be away from the house and stuff and still go ahead and create that server and then access the server console to kick people out change the settings change the weather whatever you want to do it is your server after all and you could do all of that through your phone. Now let's go ahead and check on Forge to see if it already downloaded. And as we can see here, Forge already downloaded. Let's go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop. Now this is the installer for Forge and now we are kind of ready to start installing Forge. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have closed Minecraft as well as your Minecraft launcher only after you have played Minecraft 1.21.3 at least once on your computer. Now all we have to do to install Forge is double click on it. That is going to open the Forge installer as you might see in here. And if your Forge installer didn't open, don't worry because I'm going to teach you how to fix that in a second. Now once we open the Forge installer, all we have to do in here is like install client and then hit OK. And if your Forge installer didn't open, that is because you need to install Java 21 on your computer. This is not optional. This is a requirement. Anybody trying to mod Minecraft after the Minecraft update 1.20.5 will need to install Java 21. Installing Java is super easy and I'm going to leave a guide in the description on how to download and install Java. All you do is head over to Java 21, hit download, and then you just hit next a couple of times and you will install Java 21 to then mod Minecraft. Anyways, after you install Java 21 and you are able to install Forge, all we have to do in here is click OK and then we could now even delete the installer from our desktop as well as this little text document that appears over here. Now it's time to test Forge and see if it is working. To do so, go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher. Now, if we install Forge properly after the Minecraft launcher is open, we're going to see here on the bottom left already selected automatically. If you don't see Forge in there, however, just head over to installations and make sure that modded is selected. As you can see, without modded, you actually won't see Forge in here. Another way to make sure you have Forge is to click on new installation, name this whatever you want, like for example, Apex Hosting. And then on the version, just type in Forge and Forge will come up and then you're going to select the 1.21.3 version. And then after that, you're going to hit create down here on the bottom right, which is going to add a version of Forge for you in here. Now you have Forge installed. What about adding mods? To add mods to Forge is super easy. All you have to do is hover over Forge, click on this folder in here, and that is going to open a folder that has a lot of files and a lot of folders. But you're now looking for a folder called mods, M-O-D-S. And as you can see, we have a mods folder in here. But if you weren't to have that folder, let's say you open this in here and you don't have that mods folder, you could always hit new, hit folder, and then just Hit new folder and name it mods yourself. You could create the mods folder yourself. As you can see, I now have an empty mods folder. And this is the folder where you would add all those mods for Forge that you are about to play with into. So you put all those mods in here, all those jar files, all those mods into here. And then to play Forge, all you have to do is come back to the launcher, hit play right next to Forge. And then you're probably going to have to agree to a little pop up sign that is going to come up in there. And then Forge is going to open. How do you know you're in Forge? Let's go ahead and wait for Forge to open. After your game opens, you know that you're in Forge because it literally says Forge down here on the bottom left and on the top and everywhere. It says Forge, but you also see the mods menu or the mods tab in here where you can see all the mods that you have installed. That is pretty much how to download and install Forge 1.21.3. I hope this video helped you. If it did, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, bye bye.